everybody welcome back to my channel tonight i'm going to do a bottom bottle pour on a 12 by 12 birch panel and the colors that i have mixed i've mixed them 50 50 with flow troll no water and that's it no silicone or anything else my first color is dragon flash by color shift by folk art my next one is folk art opal i'm sorry fire opal by multi-surface the next one is Folk Art Extreme Glitter in Purple Prism. Then I have Color Shift Folk Art in Pink Flash. My next one is Deco Art Metallics, and this one is Blue Glitter, I guess it says. Um, unfortunately, the paint is covering it, so I can't tell you for sure, but this is the color. And then my gold is Deco Art Metallics Gold. Then I have Deco Art Metallic Peacock Pearl. And that's this one. My next one is Folk Art Extreme Glitter Sea Sparkle. And the very last color, which I'm not sure if it's in frame, is a purple. And it is also a Folk Art Color Shift. And this one is Blue Violet Flash. So I'm gonna layer my colors in my cup and I'm gonna cover my board with a base coat of either white or black, I haven't quite decided, and we'll get going. So go ahead and enjoy this video. You can fast forward at your pace. I'm gonna put some music on for me. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the best selection of music for you, but <laughs> you can always mute it. So here we go. Oh, and by the way, I was just gonna show you real quick. The last bottom bottle pour that I did, which I can link a card up in the um, top of the screen here, um, I went ahead and I resined it, and I am just in love with this one. I think the shimmer and the colors turned out beautiful. So that resin just makes it pop. So much fun. I might do the same with this one if it turns out as well. Okay, so I decided to coat my um, board with Artist Loft Black. So it's just Artist Loft Black mixed with Floetrol 50-50. This one turned out just as pretty. I'm so excited about it. Look at all the shimmer. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to see how this will dry. Sorry that video was so quick. I had it on time lapse and forgot to take it off when I went to do the pour. You know, you get into your, your head when you're doing these things and just kind of focusing more on the painting, but uh, at least it made it go by quick. <laughs> so. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I will try to come back in the morning and show you the dried result. But in the description box down below, don't forget to check out my Etsy store if you're interested in any of my artwork. And also there will be a link to my new book that's been released and published on Amazon. And also a link to my Instagram page. So y'all have a good night and I'll try to be back in the morning with the dried result. So now I'm gonna use one on a smaller birch panel board um, using my leftover colors. I had everything but gold left. So I'm just gonna go ahead with that and I'm gonna use a white base that has a satin enamel in it and see what happens just as an experiment. So follow along.
So this was my leftover paints minus gold because I was out of gold. I didn't mix up anymore. And I used a white satin enamel mixed with Artist Loft white base. So I'm curious to see what that's going to do. You, you can already see it might be pulling up some kind of lacing from underneath. Um, I'm not really sure. That is some of the purple there. But um, I'm curious to see how this is going to change as it dries. So a two for tonight. And I'll be back in the morning to show you the results. Thanks again. All right, it's morning and they are still wet. I did notice that it takes longer for the paint to dry on these birch wood panels for some reason. Um, the last one that I had poured took probably two and a half days before it was completely dry. So it's still wet, but it hasn't changed at all, which is fantastic. And same with the one that I used the satin background. I thought that white satin might affect this painting and maybe come through and it has not. So that lacing there is just from the blue that I used. It's the blue seafoam sparkle. So really haven't changed at all. I'm gonna turn on a brighter light here. So they're gonna stay the same, I think. Just taking a long time to dry. I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you on my next video. Take care, everyone.